Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I give out praise on the glory to my power. Yahweh, by Shemel Shah, by Shemel Kakodash. The one is my elders and apostles, Dave Millstone, who will well and teach well being, good as those that brothers. And peace and blessings to all for a lack of what I put that number. I'm the brother Kudar, from the GMS in Chicago. Welcome back to another video. This video is going to be entitled, uh, The Lord is Dealing with Israel. All right, because uh, Christianity tries to universalize um, our salvation. Okay, but uh, if you if you read from Genesis, all right, you had three lines. Okay, you had the sons of God, the sons of men, and the sons of the wicked. Okay, now the flood killed them all, you know, except eight souls. All right, and Noah had three sons. Okay, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Okay, <clears throat> and now, hey, uh, out of the out of the line of Shem, you had the. Uh, the the Israelites, the Edomites, the Moabites, the Ammonites, okay, the Elamites, okay, Elam or Elam, like the Elam Achim be saying, okay, and out of the line of Ham, you had Ham, okay, out of the uh, line of Japheth, you had Japheth, okay, and um, and, and out of, even throughout all these lines, man, okay, uh, right, you have the sons of God, all right, so through that line. The Lord was still dealing with uh, Israel, man, before it was called Israel. Then the Lord, the Lord was dealing with Abraham, of course, Isaac, Jacob, you know, his 12 sons to this day. All right. <coughs> because, um, let me get this in, um, around 28 and, um, 68. Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I speak unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Okay? So Egypt means bondage, captivity. Okay, the Lord said we're going into Egypt with ships. Now you can walk from Africa. You can walk from Israel into Egypt. It's, in, it's walking distance. You don't need a ship. Okay? It's different tectonic plates, but it's still right next to each other. You don't need a train. You don't need a plane. You don't need ships to get through it. <clears throat> All right. So, and where did we get taken uh, by ship? We got took, uh, brought to the Americas, man. All right. And the so-called Negroes. All right. And while we were being put in Americas, all right, you have the Northern Kingdom. Okay. Which is the, uh, the Latinos and the Native Americans. Okay. The Seminole Indians being put on the ships and being uh, took to uh, Spain. All right. Northern Africa. Okay, and all over Europe. So we were all on the slave ships, man. And history doesn't tell you that. Okay. <clears throat> Thou shalt see it no more again. So we, as a, uh, in general, as a collective, haven't been back to our homeland. All right? And even if we did, it's not going to mean anything because it's still polluted. That place has to get destroyed, man. All right? There's fucking uh, <laughs> bastards dwelling there. All right? It's going to say a bastard shall dwell at Ashdod. Uh, thou shalt see no more again, and there you shall be sold for your enemies for bondmen, okay, and bondwoman. That's plain. We were sold, okay, and and no man shall buy you, meaning no man shall save you, redeem you, except the Lord, okay. All these quote unquote leaders, they weren't able to do nothing for us, man. All right, this um. <clears throat> Amos 3 and 2, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. You only have I known of all the families of the earth. So like, yeah, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. This is exactly why we're being, we got, we're in this situation to this day. Because we didn't listen to you. How about you not shot, man? All right. That's why we're going through what we're going through. Like that nigga off, uh. Minutes to society, all right. He was like, Well, God don't love us. Look at the condition that we're in, all right, because you were rebellious. All right, this is our uh, first, first address. Uh, second, I think it's second address one. Yep. That's 
the second Ezra 1 and 24. What shall I do unto thee, O Jacob, thou Judah? What is not obey me, I will turn me, I will turn me to other nations, and unto those will I give my name, that they may keep my statutes. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. Okay? When you desire me, be gracious to you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Right, because the Lord had us in that condition where we were just fucked, man. Look at the book of Judges. Every time we went off, the Lord gave us up to these other nations, man. Alright? <clears throat> Whenever you shall call upon me, I will not hear you. For you have defiled your hands with blood, and your feet are swift to commit manslaughter, man. Alright? This is um, Judith 5 and 17. Why if they sin not before their God, they prosper. Okay? So we prosper when we when we were on point. All right, we conquered our enemies. Our enemies could uh, our enemies had to serve us, man. All right, the Most High was with us in everything we did. But uh, because the yeah yeah, but when they departed from the way which He appointed them, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were laid captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their God was cast to the ground, and their cities were taken. By the enemy, right? okay. This is um, it's a lock here. Give me a second, Isaiah fourteen. So I give me a second. Precept of that. Damn, so like, give me a second. I believe it was Isaiah 15. Damn. Yeah, it's so like Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40. There we go. God, Lord, y'all, my shot. Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as the small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the aisles as a very little thing. Okay? So these nations, the uh, the way the Lord sees them, sees them, okay, that's not Israelites, the heathen, because they weren't given a law. The Most High sees them as a bucket of water filled with a lot of water, okay, but one drop falls out. That's how the Lord sees those other nations, as that one drop that falls out. You're not going to care about a drop, uh, a full bucket of water and one little drop fall out. You're not going to go to the ends. Uh, <laughs> you're not going uh, to give it your all to try to get that one drop back. You don't care about it. Okay. Uh, verse six, verse um, <clears throat> 17. All nations before him are as nothing, and they are counted to him less than nothing in vanity. Man. All right. So the Lord doesn't care about these other nations. And let's get John 4 and 22. Ye worship, you know not what we know. What we worship for salvation is of the Jews. All right. Hey, let's get your favorite. Let's get your favorite verse, John three and sixteen. For the Most High so loved the world, and He gave His only begotten Son. Now you have to understand that the Scriptures was translated the Old Testament in Hebrew and the New Testament in the uh, in the Greek. You know, right? It was translated into into English. Now it's said different words and different languages don't have the same power in it. Okay. Now you have to go into the strong coordinates because you can't take everything from face value. Words have definitions. If you go into the Strong's coordinates and go into John 3 16, the world world goes into cosmos. Okay? Cosmos means an orderly arrangement. Okay? Uh, a covenant, an agreement. Who was the covenant given to? Israel. So John 3 16 is talking about the Israelites. And there's three definitions of worlds in the scriptures. You have cosmos, which is talking about Israel. Okay? You have uh, um, eon, which means time. Okay? And you have. Um, Damn, what is that? Oikomeni, Oikomeni, which means uh, for everyone, the whole world. Okay? Now, that the world world in John 3, 6 me doesn't say Oikomeni. It says cosmos. All right? So the Lord is dealing with Israel. Um, you know, they love that precept, man. <laughs> they love that precept.
Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, and him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen, the Lord's chosen people. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes, talking about the Israelites. As for the other people, the other nations, which also come of Adam, because we all came out of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, and as like the abundance of them to be dropped until they drop that falling from a vessel man alright so no one cares if you spit on the floor no one cares about it that's how lords of these other nations man but with that I'm gonna give all praise honor and glory to you all about Shema Shabbat Shema Kapodash Shalom and the Bible Ball